Welcome, everybody, to the Radical Dinosaur Fan. I'm your host, KB, the coolest dino dude. What's the first thing that comes to your mind with the word Jurassic? Maybe it's the silhouette of a Tyrannosaurus skeleton over a red background, or the end of an iconic battle between some raptors and this huge predator. Well, the most curious thing about that image is that none of those are from the Jurassic. I'm sure a lot of you can recall this fact, but for those who don't, the Jurassic is actually the second of three periods of the Mesozoic era. That's the famous dinosaur era that lasted for more than 180 million years and saw the birth of dinosaurs and ended with the extinction of all but birds. You can imagine how much can happen during all those millions of years. That's why scientists divided that time frame into three periods, each with their epochs and then further into ages. Everything began with the Triassic. Life was just getting back up from the devastating Permian extinction which led to an explosion in diversity. Everyone wanted to fill the ecological gaps left by all those extinct species, and spearheading this diversification were archosaurs. From the birth of the first close relatives of crocodiles and pterosaurs, to that one group that would dominate the land for most of the entire era, the dinosaurs. Compared to other periods, during the Triassic they were still relatively small covered in primitive fluff and only just showing the general traits that would define the more famous types of these animals. This period also saw the rise of the first marine reptiles, mammals, and several groups of insects that we still see around today. It was like the wild west of evolution. It's then came the Jurassic, the period of giants. Though the fearsome Tyrannosaurus was not yet around, Large carnosaurs such as Allosaurus and Saurophaganax were, and with them came the colossal sauropods, such as Barosaurus, along with Stegosaurus and, close to the end of the period, Ankylosaurs and Ceratopsians, even my own species. The diversity and specialization of non-avian dinosaurs reached its peak during this time. We could call this the Golden Age of Dinosaurs. So much so that the first actual birds appeared and coexisted with their non-avian brothers in this period. But there was also a great diversity of magnificent pterosaurs and gigantic marine reptiles, with development that was just as impressive. Finally, we get to the Cretaceous, non-avian dinosaurs' majestic goodbye. Here, enormous predators such as Tyrannosaurus, Giganotosaurus, and Spinosaurus appeared. Titanosaurs, tall as trees, also arrived beside famous ceratopsians such as Tarceratops and Pentaceratops. We also have evidence of the specialized and elegant dromaeosaurids, or raptors, during this period. Pterosaurs and marine reptiles also had these last and impressive specializations and adaptations within their niches during this period. However, it's possible that precisely those very specialized traits made them more vulnerable to the drastic changes that the world would go through at the end of the era. It's possible that the asteroid that we know as the cause of the Cretaceous Paleogene Extinction or KPG event was just the final straw for several other environmental crises. But what we do know for sure is that in a span of relatively few thousand years, all non-avian dinosaurs were gone. This is what some would call the fall of the dinosaurs. But was it really? Birds are an incredibly successful group of animals today. Its members have adapted marvelously for flight, aquatic, and land-based life, filling a huge variety of niches and habitats. Maybe it's more accurate to see the KPG event as just the end of a magnificent chapter in the ongoing story of these creatures. Rest assured that we will have episodes talking specifically about each one of these periods. But for now, thank you for watching. Remember to click the like button if you like the video and subscribe to not miss any new videos. Also remember that you can support us on Patreon for rewards like question priority and to help us reach the ideal of not having any YouTube ads on our videos. Once again, thank you, have a great day and see you next time.